Joe, let's talk a little bit about Brock. Um, you know, a lot of things that he does well. I mean, he processes well. He throws with timing. He throws with accuracy. A lot of the same things that that you did. Um, do you? You know, people have compared him, and obviously that you know that could be a burden because of how great of a player you were. But do you see any similarities in in the two in your game compared to his? And what do you think of Purdy so far? Well, I never really try to compare you know one quarterback to another because the styles are all different. Sure. But the one thing you can look at are the things that you said that you know he processes quickly, ball comes out of his hand quickly, he makes good decisions, and he throws accurately. And you can't ask more of a quarterback and. As you can see, that system fits him and his style because he plugged in pretty quickly there. I mean, to come in from where he was and uh, be thrown into that game, hey, you know, my hat's off to him. I look forward to seeing him play. He's exciting, and he's got a pretty good team with him, and that always helps uh, out a quarterback anytime when you got some weapons like they do. Talking to Joe Montana, four-time Super Bowl champ, NFL Hall of Famer, and Niners legend. So, Piggybacking off of Brock Purdy and and the success that we hope he has, Joe, what do you think success looks like for the Niners this season? <clears throat> well, I think you said it earlier in the in the call is that I think everybody expects to see him back in the championship game, and hopefully they they get it to the Super Bowl and and they can pull off another victory there. But they definitely have the caliber team to to, to make that run, and but. You know, it's easy to say now before the season starts, but a lot of things, you know, take place. Uh, injuries start happening, and, and uh, some guys are having a better year. Some guys are having not as good a year as they had the year before. So all those things come into play, and it's you got to just kind of hope that the, you get the all the pieces in the right places at the right time, you know, towards the end of the year. And, I mean, they're, they're going to win games no matter what. They just they are too talented not to. You know, I I thought Walsh um, was obviously Walsh was a genius, and and he I thought the way he brought you along slowly coming out of Notre Dame was really smart. He had DeBerg there, he worked you in, um, but I wanted to ask you, Joe, between year one and year two, because it seems like we see football players make a huge jump from that rookie year to the second year, which is where Brock is right now. How would you? Why is it that we see? You know, quarterbacks especially make that jump in year two. What was, what what's it like that second time around that you don't have as a rookie? Well, <clears throat> I think the biggest thing is you you get comfortable in a system. In that first year, you're just trying to figure out, you know, what you just were, had learned in college, and now trying trying to make a transition into a new offense and learn it. It's a little different learning. As a quarterback, all the positions that you, all the things that you need to know, as opposed to some somebody who comes in like a wide receiver or a running back or any other position, really, where you only have to worry about one thing. And uh, the quarterback, as you know, you have to know where everybody's doing, what it's doing. You need to make changes. You need to be able to audible. Um, and so it's a tough, tough thing to do in the first year. And my, so my hat was off to him for that, even because he, like I said, he plugged in pretty quick.